Bone 23 videos. Hello and welcome to Skyrim Anniversary Edition. My name is Spoon23 and this is my first playthrough starting an all new build. And I am so happy that you are here to join me on this wild ride. I have installed all the content and of course we are playing on survival. But since I'm also new to this, it may take me a while to find stuff and to master the skills. And because I want to play the game, this is a playthrough and not a walkthrough. Although you will see some very condensed gameplay, which might inspire you. So here we are, on our way to Helgen to be beheaded. And let's shut these guys up, just for a while, so I can do my talking. I have decided to play the Vanilla Anniversary Edition, which means I have no other mods installed. And that means, if you are on PS5, PS4, Xbox or whatever system, your experience should pretty much be the same. I have also decided not to do another pure race walkthrough because that subject is pretty much covered by Major Slack and he does it perfectly. Go check him out. So the question is now what to play, who to play and how to play. And for someone with my advanced experience in Skyrim it can only be on legendary difficulty. But that's not enough. We need more rules, more limitations and find out if we can survive, if we can master the game using harsh restrictions. So the first idea I came up with was to choose skills by random numbers. But that didn't really work well. And then I looked on Nexus if there wasn't a mod to do the work for me. And guess what? I found something. And it's not even a mod. It's a nice little program which is called the Skyrim Random Character Generator. And what it does is, well, it creates a random Skyrim character. Random skills, random race and random rules. Here, let me show you. This is what it looks like. Unfortunately, it's rather ugly because it doesn't have a user interface. So I decided I create my own. First thing I did was use the Skyrim random character generator and then create a presentation for it. On a side note, I should mention that I took the liberty to add or change the things that the random character generator suggested. So it would be more interesting for me. And since we are playing on survival mode and there is no fast travel, each and every character will be allowed to use lockpicking. So here it is. This is what we are going to play. We will be playing as an Imperial Battle Conjurer. Using the following skills, smithing, conjuration, restoration, one-handed, light armor, lockpicking without perks and speech. And our playstyle will be, we can conjure whatever, we can use daggers only, we are not allowed to craft, there is no stealing, no murders and we play on survival but are not allowed to cook. Oh my, smithing without crafting, no murders, no cooking, on survival. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We are not allowed to sneak. There is no archery, no destruction magic, no alteration magic, no enchanting and no alchemy. Which means 
we can only use our conjurations for distance fighting and later in the game shouts but defeating dragons is gonna be a bitch oh wow let's return to the game who are you yes who are we well we are an imperial and we are a girl and let me rush through character creation because maybe we won't see her face too often anyway Yep, that's it. And let's finish and give her a nice name. Isabella. Yep, nice. Sounds pretty imperial to me. from the Imperial City. Yes. What are you doing in Skyrim? Well... Captain, what should we you do? You don't want to know She's what I'm on doing here. Forget the list. She goes to the block. What? By your orders, Captain. I have to go to the block? I'm sorry. We'll make sure you remain so a ton to Yeah, uh... Follow the Captain, prisoner. Oh. Thank you. And we're on our way to our beheading. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up! <laughs> this guy. Let's get this over Learn. As you wish. Rushing his own Come beheading. On. I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? And off with your head! You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Renegade from Cyrodiil! Oh, that's me. The Renegade from Cyrodiil. Did you hear that? Would have been a nice name too. I said, next! Prisoner! To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. And there he is. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the clouds! I love the effect in the sky. Okay. Okay. Give me controls. Give me the controls. Yes. Let's run. First is with Waylock. Let's get up the tower. I'll do in breaks too. Let's 
do a jump. Pathway generation still works because survival mode is not on yet. It will start after Helgen. Now the question always is, Raylov or Hedvar? And I think it's an easy decision. We have smithing. And with Hedva, we have three homes in Riverwood that we can visit. So, enter Helgen Keep with Hedva. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yes, please, get those bindings off. Yeah, do it. Thank you. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. First thing I'm gonna do is favor it, the healing spell, and put it to number one. Next, I don't know if I will use it. We have the voice of the emperor, a special power. It calms nearby people for 60 seconds. It's actually really powerful and also works on vampires. Okay. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. Yeah, I will. Thank you, Hedvar. Let's I take that everything. You have that sort of few swings too. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. Even the book. That chest is empty. Let's put the armor on. Now, I really like the Sky UI menu, but I can manage with this too. We have an armor rating of 44. Great. We don't need the foot wraps. And we don't need the rough spun tunic. Unfortunately, we cannot sleep. Yeah, maybe we can reason with them. Hello, we're here to reason with you. Hold on now. We all... If you want to die, so be it. It's nothing. Can't use a sword. Because there is no dagger. Maybe we can help Hadvar a bit by punching these guys. Wow, that takes a while. mercy let's see what you got let's take the hide shield and the curious and the first stuff that's the end of that for boots for gauntlets let me see if i can get that door open And another one. Two cabbages. Sex. Big save. Guys. Yeah. 
Same procedure as first time. Hit them barehanded. here. Let's drop the curiouses. I won't be using them. And the swords. Our carry weight will be so limited that we can take this anyway. Nothing. But the first stuff may come in handy for being warm. We'll see. Salt pile. We can't cook. Ocean barrel. Let's check all the sacks. Apples are good. Tomatoes are good. Done then. This way. Yes, done then. And let me quickly grab the dagger. Put it to number two. And find the torturer. There he is. What are you doing? Yes, I'm attacking the torturer. Because he has a steel dagger and good stuff that I want. So, let's drop the iron dagger. Favorite the steel dagger. Put it to number two. Let's equip the torturous hood and the imperial bracers. Armor rating 53. Nice. Let's drop that shield. And finally... No submitting. Yes, we waited for the 12 lockpicks. No, it's just not enough. Yeah, lockpicking, I know. Let's pick all the locks, grab all his stuff, destruction, spell, sparks, we can't do destruction, but we can sell the book. Don't get nervous, Hedva. We will be gone in a moment. Mm. 
broke my first lockpick. Okay. There is nothing else here in this room, I think. This nope. way. Yes, this way. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. Hello, Stormcloaks. Picks me. Good. We found another target. And now he's mine. He has picked me again. Only headwear remains. Yes, that was on purpose too. Take a look. There is an Imperial soldier missing. Their stuff is valuable. Maybe I can find it. Not here, not here, not here. And also not here. Okay. Can't find him. Doesn't matter. Yeah, let me take a look, Hedvar. I know, you are in a hurry. You want to go home. Yes, the way out is up ahead. Let's level up. Point into Magicka. Let's put the first point into one-handed. So we do a little bit more damage. Hmm. 
Yes, lucky us. Edva, you're coming. Come on. No lollygagging. Come on. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way. Spider time. What was that? Yeah, what was that? Bad, bad spiders. Was that five? Four. There is one missing. Oh, there it is. Let's collect the spider eggs. the skiver tails. Because these can be sold. They're not that bad. Another healing potion. Don't need the iron dagger. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? Yep. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Oh. I might be able to see fine. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Go I'm ahead. feeling lucky. <laughs> because I got you, Headbone. And that's it. We did Helgen Keep. This looks like the way out. Yep. I was starting to wonder if we No more level ups. Okay. Wait. No, can't wait. Yes. Enable survival mode. Survival adds the need to eat, sleep and stay warm. It also adds additional challenges such as no fast travel, reduced carry weight and leveling up only when you sleep. See the survival mode entry in help for details. Enable survival mode? Yes. And let's run. Sorry, Hedva. I need you. It also limited our carry weight to 150. First thing we do is attack those bandits here. Hey, picked a bad time to get lost. You think? Are you coming?
Yeah, Hedva saw them. Good. Let's make use of Hedva as long as we have him. There you are. Okay. Yes. Maybe the shield. And take a look. No leveling up. Survival mode is active. Let's take a look at our fur stuff. These he can go. Fur boots, fur shoes. Shoes are better. Oh. I picked up stuff that I don't want. Arrows have weight now, so don't pick them up. Racers. Shoes. Studded armor. Okay. we found the treasure map. I, should go to solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. I don't think so. Maybe someday. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Let's pick the book. Night falls on Sentinel. Sentinel. Oh, what did I pick up? picked something up, I don't know what. Hmm. And that black mage robes. Next goal, standing stones. We are hungry, so let's eat. This bread is bad. We can eat vegetables without getting sick. Good are apples and tomatoes. Yeah. And let's select. The warrior stone. Next goal, amber shard mine. Yes, really. Hello, bandit.
And here we are in Abershard Mine. Fly Amanita can be sold and is worth one gold. Yeah, what was that? I feel drained. One. Good. Let's heal up. The bandits can stand here, so they are swimming. Which is pretty cool, because we can just slaughter them. One. Let's loot him. Grilled chicken breast. Awesome. Let's pick up the pickaxe. Yeah, we can smith. But we can't craft. Yes, I know. I'm tired. Tomatoes, great. Okay. Yeah, come on. Same procedure as last time. Let them come. It almost feels like cheating, but it's not. It's using the surroundings to my advantage. Fur armor. That's what I was looking for. Let's put it on. and the fur braces, and the fur shoes. So, we are a bit warm. Okay, overloaded already. What can I drop? There was that shield. No shield. There it is. Let's put that away. Okay. And let's sleep. But before we do that, 
Let's go right here. Yep, here's good. Because this is the end of episode 1 of the Imperial Battle Conjurer. I want to thank you so much for watching. And boy oh boy, survival is quite the challenge. Especially with the reduced carry weight. In the description you will find details about this build and links to my other videos. I made a cool walkthrough of a pure Argonian bear trapper only fighting with bear traps and his bare hands. Anyway, I hope you had a good time and I see you in the next video. Take good care. I also do have a Patreon page, so if you want to support me, you can do it right there and I will be very happy about it.